Hi everybody, it's Tina here. Welcome to Sky Bridge Club and welcome to your first real bridge lesson. Today we're going to learn how to start the auction. Remember, there are two parts to the game, the auction and then the play. So today, what do you need to start the bidding? The opener is the person who makes the first bid and just like any auction, you need to have a certain amount of money or an equivalent to make uh, to, to start the whole thing off. So just before we do, let's have quick revision. The rank of the suits, it's very important in an auction that you know which suit is worth more than another one. So no trumps is the highest, followed by spades and hearts, which are the majors, and then diamonds and clubs, which clearly are the minors. So that's the order, spades, hearts, diamonds and clubs. All right, so here's a typical auction. That's the screen you'll see. One club is the first bid from south, and we're sitting south, and partners bid one hearts. Now, let heart, sorry. Let's say that you've got some spades, and you want to tell partner you've got some spades as well. Do you have to bid two spades, or could you get away with one spade? The order of the suits is down the bottom of the screen for you. And as you can see, one spade is higher than one heart, so you can get away with just bidding at the one level. If, however, you want to bid diamonds, diamonds is a lower ranked suit than hearts, then you have to bid two diamonds. So it's just like any auction. And when you begin, you start the auction at the one level. Some um, different games start at different levels, I think. You've got 13 available tricks, and the difficult thing for you now is that when I say we start at the one level, that actually means that you are contracting to make seven tricks, the first six tricks we don't mention. So if you bid one club, for example, that's the lowest of all, then you have to make seven tricks. And what's the highest bid? Well, we don't count the first six, and we've got 13 altogether. So seven and six are 13. So that's seven no trumps. And that means you have to make every single trick. Mm, you may not do that for a while. But mm, when you do, it's very exciting, and you win lots of points. Okay, ending the auction, just like any other auction. Go and go and gone. Pass, pass, pass. Okay. Right. When you finish the auction, someone's going to play the hand. That's the second part that happens. And you need to know who that person is. And the person who plays the hand is called the declarer. Now, in this particular auction that you're looking at, the final, the final bid was two no trumps. Now, remember, that means that West has to make eight tricks, six plus two. And West is the declarer because West is the only person who bid no trumps and bid at first level. Okay, this auction is slightly different. Now, the final contract is four spades, which means you have to make, you got it, ten tricks. But the declarer is North because North bid spades first. So that's useful to remember that. This is a more complicated auction. One club from north. The final contract is four hearts. Who bid hearts first? South did. So south is the declarer. All right. So what do we need to make the very first bid? And the very first bid, I'm not talking about one no trump today. I'm just talking about the first suit bid. Like any auction, you need to have a certain value. And if you bid at the one level, this is only the first bid, the opener's bid, then you need to have between 12 and 19 high card points. Now you remember that an ace is worth four, king three, queen two, jack one. So you, you've seen all that in the introductory lessons. And if not, go to skybridgeclub.com and have a look for the introductory lessons. 12 to 19. So, having decided you've got enough to open, what suit do you open? 
never anything very easy here, but what suit do you open? All right, so here is your suit. You've got six spades, three hearts, two diamonds, and two clubs. Plenty of points to open. And what would you like to be trumps? Because that's what you, when you make a bid, that's what you're saying. Partner, I think this would be a good trump suit. Partner might agree, not agree, or might agree, which is always great. So I think we want spades to be trumps, don't you? And that's because it's the longest suit. And also because in standard, which is what I'm teaching you, if you bid one spade, you're promising at least five. So here, we've got loads of points. Fourteen. Fourteen points is plenty to open the bidding. So, We've got great diamonds. Shall we open one diamond? No, because we've got spades of the majors, remember, and it's always good to open a major if you can. And we have five spades. So we can open one spade, and partner will know you're starting a dialogue, you're starting a conversation. We're having a, a bidding between us to try and find a fit. Okay, one spade. I've said I've got 12 to 19 points, and I've got at least five spades. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Here, we've got the same kind of hand, but this time we've got hearts. We do have five of them, and therefore we can bid one heart. Great. So, here's our first little summary. You open your longest suit, and if you do open one heart or one spade, then you're promising at least five of them. Right. Now, here's a trick. We've got two five-card suits. Now, I like my hearts better than I like my spades, so shall I open the heart? The rule is very clear here, and you'll realize why later, because it makes it easier to describe your hand if you open the higher five-card suit first. So if you have two five-card suits, open the higher ranking one. Spades rank higher than hearts, so we're going to open one spade. High five, that's the way to remember. So, you open your longer suit, opening one heart or one spade, to summarize, promise at least five. If you've got two five card suits, you open the higher. Well, now we haven't, and you often won't have a five card major. If you don't have a five card heart or spade suit, you can't open one of those. You can't open even if you've got four of them. Now you've got to open one of the minor suits. Now, it's important to understand that if you open one club or one diamond, your message is really, I haven't got a five-card major. It doesn't mean you necessarily want to suggest that as the trump suit. It's just saying, I can't open one heart or one spade. What have you got, partner? Tell me some more. Maybe we still have got a spade fit. Who would know? Now here, you've got more diamonds than clubs. So you can go back to the first rule, which is to open your longest suit. So... Your longest suit is diamonds, so we can open one diamond. When you've got two suits the same length in the minors, and make it easy for you, we're going to open one club. So if you've got four of each, you open one club. If you've got three of each, you open one club. Okay, so summary. Opening one of a major... Hearts and spades are the majors, promises at least five cards. You open the higher of two five-card suits. You open the longer minor if you have one, but that's just like your longer suit, and says, I haven't got a five-card major. And with equal length in the minors, you open one club. Now, that might seem quite difficult for you, but remember, you've got hands to practice, which will help. So, let's just go through the examples one more time. Now we know what we're doing. We have one suit that's much longer than all the others, so open your longest suit, one spade. Here we have five card major, open one spade again. Here, again, plenty of points to open. We're going to open one heart. Easy, see? Okay, two five card majors, high five, one spade. Spades are ranked higher than hearts. It doesn't mean high in terms of high card points in the suit. It means which is the higher ranking suit. So one spade. Now, 
we haven't got a five card major, so we're going to have to open a minor. We've got more diamonds than clubs, so we open our longer suit, one diamond. With the same number of, of cards in the both minor suits, you open one club. So two four card minors, one club, two three card minors, one club. So there we go. That is the, oh, well, those are the rules for opening the bidding in a suit. So who are the players? A little bit of uh, vocabulary for you here. The opener is the person who starts the bidding and makes a real bid. You might be the dealer and, and you have a chance to be the opener, but you choose to pass because you don't have 12 points. The opener actually is the first person to make a bid. The responder is the opener's partner. The clearer, who we talked about a little bit, is the person who plays the hand. And dummy is the clearer's partner. So, summary. Opener's first bid, 12 to 19. One of a major promises five cards. You open the higher ranking five card suit. Open the longer minor without five hearts or five spades. And with equal length in both of the minors, you open one club. So that's it. Really, that's it. And if you practice it, you will learn it very quickly. So it's an exciting journey you're on. Learning Bridge is wonderful. You're going to absolutely love the game. Thanks for watching. Now you're full of knowledge. You can go away and play the eight hands that are available to play on this lesson page. And that'll be great practice for you. And I look forward to seeing you at the next lesson. <laughs>